What's up, Bob Coburn? You're with me. This is Taylor Hawkins. I took over Jonesy's spot today for KLOS. And you look very good in his spot, I might add. Well, you, look, you know. You're pretty good there. I'm yeah. no Jonesy, but I'm trying. <laughs> Who is? No one. No one. But no one's Bob Coburn either. Oh, well, thank you very much. I mean, I walk in here and they're playing Squonk off Genesis Trick of the Tail. So what happens when I can play what I want to play? It's unbelievable. Know? I don't know if everyone realizes, you know, how, how amazing this radio station is now again and it's like it was when i was a kid you know but, but even before that when they called it progressive radio and progressive rock radio yeah. mm -hmm. where they play side two of pink floyd metal and it was like totally okay some of the old timers tell me you know i missed the kmet days well guess what it's back They're and it's back. right here on klos it's amazing yeah and people and the people have spoken they it's, like it it's doing good like yeah. it's from from everything I've heard, I don't. I didn't read Billboard this week, but from everything I heard, it's really happening. Well, man. there's more than 300 songs. Yeah, it's 2016. You look back now, and there's so much to choose from. Oh yeah, and then and you're mixing it. It's not just whatever classic rock is. You know, there's alternative classic rock. There's everything. No, there's know? a little thought behind it. You know, yeah. trying to put some sets together. I love it, man. Yeah. I love it, man. And Jonesy coming back here was amazing. And just... he has made this his new home. That's amazing. It really is. My wife told me, "Have this was about, I don't know, three months ago. She's like, have you listened to KLOS lately? I'm like, no. Well, the Jonesy's on there because he was at Indy before, and we loved that. And I'm like, what? And she says, yeah, they played It's Late by Queen off News of the World. And I'm like, well, what time? She's like, at one in the afternoon. I'm like, what? <laughs> right in broad daylight on what? Main Street, ladies and gentlemen. Someone's going to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> and look what I'm wearing today. I Jones love Jukebox t shirt. It. You know, got, gotta it. have that. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Trouble, what's up? Well, Taylor also is in the band Chevy Metal, in addition to the Foo Fighters. And I was going to get to that. Yeah. Oh. And they've been so gracious and generous to be performing at the Ride for Bob on August 20th. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Not, not only for me, but for the American Cancer Society. Oh, man. That's what it's for, is to get them some money and try and find some cures. I love it. I love it. And we love doing stuff like that. Well, I mean, thanks that's, for stepping up. You know, it's turned into a great little project to be able to ship around and do benefits and, you know. I'm getting a lot of calls from people saying they're coming. I think it's going to be a real blast. It's going to be amazing. Smack dab in the afternoon on Main Street for that, too. The yeah, Canyon yeah, Club yeah, in Agora yeah, yeah. on August 20th. That's Canyon Club's cool, too. Have you ever been there? I live a mile from there. Okay, I do, too. <laughs> I could walk there if I could <laughs> walk a mile anymore. <laughs> uh, you'll be able to, Bob. You're going to walk a mile. You're going to walk a mile, Bob. You yeah, look, I'm right down the street from them. Yeah. Uh, great club. Holds about 1,000 people. Yeah. And, uh, good it, food, good it, drink. It really is great. So I saw the first time I first band I saw there was Sticks, and it was like about twelve years ago. And I was with my buddy Wiley from Chevy Metal, the blonde haired, curly haired kid who's a singer in Chevy Metal. And we're standing next to each other, and one of the Sticks, and we're standing on the side, not on the side of the stage, but yeah, kind of on the side of the stage. And one of the wives comes up to Wiley and says, "Hey, the guys want to know if you want to play a song with them tonight. Like they're gonna do cover of uh, some ZZ, like Tush or something like that." And Wiley's like. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> and they go, okay, Taylor, right back here. And he's like, oh, no, that's Taylor. <laughs> but they had an amazing, I didn't do it. I was like, no, I just want to watch. I just want to watch. But that was But funny. you sing, too. You, you have a, a song little... on In Your Honor that I really love. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Cold Day in the Sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a yeah. great song. Yeah, oh, you thank sing that you. really well. Oh, thank you. I, you know, I love singing drummers. I joined one. Yeah, They're you my did, favorite. didn't They're you? my favorite. Does he still consider himself a drummer? Oh, he's the best. He is a very good drummer. He's, so are you. He's the best musician I've ever met in my life, period. And he can, you know, there's just a couple guys like that that can just, they're like, you know, like, long, like you know, Prince and, and, you know, God rest his soul and all these, like, these guys that can just, you know, you leave and then you can give Dave any instrument for an hour and he'll he'll give you a song at the end of that The hour. growl of growl. The growl of He's growl. He's an animal in yeah, that Yeah, I've kid. learned it. I've learned so much from him, just not just drumming, but just how to handle yourself as a person in this business and musically, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. that's endless. And he's my like big brother. Yeah. He can give a noogie. And a little talented. I mean, here's a guy who broke his leg in the middle of a concert and finished the show. I mean, come on. It was amazing. Come it on. It was amazing. Unbelievable. That's the power of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Especially good whiskey. Yeah, he had a good <laughs> bottle of whiskey, I'm pretty sure. He did. That was amazing. So we got this jam coming up. Um, you guys looking forward to it? Yeah. 
It's going to be amazing. I think it will be. I really and truly it's do. It's going to be amazing. I mean, you know, I, I want everybody to know none of this is for me. I mean, you know, I'm they're calling it the ride for Bob, but I just felt compelled to do something because, <clears throat> excuse me, I got thrown into this other world that is so foreign and so strange to me right. that I just felt like I needed to do something. So, again, we lean on the KLOS audience who are so fantastic. Uh, because they're the ones that will really ultimately be helping out. Oh, dude, it's going to be packed. Yeah, I think it will be. They love you. Oh, thanks. And it's a good, it's obviously an amazing cause. Well, we can all dance and jump around and sing along and have a drink or two. It's going to be raging, really dude. Good time, stage man. diving. It is going to be <laughs> no, I ain't doing no stage diving. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm too big for that, man. <laughs> Without giving away too many surprises, what might the audience expect from the show on the 20th? Well, I don't really know. I mean, you know, as as, you know, fans of Chevy Metal know that we're just a kind of a classic rock cover band and we do deep cuts all the way to like, you know, ones everyone knows. Uh, there's been a couple people reaching out that want to jam and I'm, we're totally open to all those, to all the, you know, other musicians who, you know, have grown up with you, Bob, and, and or, you know, that want to come jam. So I think there's going to be some, I think it's going to get loose. Yeah, well, let's hope it does, you know. I, I think mean, it will. You know, well, it's gonna you, be... you can't front announce everybody, you know. You just no, put the T's out there. And just say, no. There may be some other people stopping by. There's going to be some special, who knows, special guests. <laughs> but we don't have any yet. So anybody? <laughs> no, we actually. No, just kidding. There is no. There's been a lot of people actually. I was being. I'll be guessing on Tim Bali. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bob on Tim's. Yeah. <laughs> Bob on CD. Yeah. That's what I do best <laughs> play CDs. Well. Well, what you're going to do today? Well. You know, speaking of singing drummers, my, one of my favorite singing drummers is Roger Taylor from Queen, and uh, he he I, he frustratingly had to make his first solo record, I think, in the in the early '80s. He just had to do it, and he played every instrument on this record, and nobody really knows about it. It's an album called Fun in Space, and there's a song called Let's Get Crazy, and it's got a little bit of a rockabilly thing, and uh, he plays every single instrument on this. So, and there's a drum solo. So go. I'm going to leave you to it. Good to see you. All right, Bob. We love you, man. Thanks. Thanks.